and thus crisis points, the ultimate 2025 guide for Sjogren's patients to outsmart myeloma. Don't blink, your life may depend on it. What if the stable blood test you got last month is actually hiding the early signs of blood cancer? For Sjogren's patients, living with MGUS the risk is real, and the window for action is narrow. In the next few minutes, you'll discover the breakthrough monitoring and treatment strategies that could save your life, and the silent progression signals most doctors still miss. This is the video your future self will thank you for watching. Don't look away. Section 1. The blood test traps. Why normal isn't always safe. Let's start with the basics. MGUS, or monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, is a condition where abnormal plasma cells produce a monoclonal protein, an M spike, in your blood. For most, it's a watch and wait scenario. But for Sjogren's patients, the rules are different. The kappa slash lambda ratio paradox. You've probably heard about the serum free light chain, FLC ratio. Traditionally, only values outside 0.26 to 1.65 were considered risky. But here's the shocker. A groundbreaking 2025 blood advances study found that if you have Sjogren's, even ratios in a so-called gray zone between 1.65 and 3.0 can mean you're three times more likely to progress to multiple myeloma. Why? Sjogren's disease keeps your immune system in overdrive, creating a perfect storm for abnormal plasma cells to thrive. Inflammation's double agent. Think inflammation is just about joint pain? Think again. Chronic inflammation in Sjogren's patients, measured by markers like CRP, C-reactive protein, actually shields those abnormal plasma cells from dying off. If your CRP is over 5 mg per liter, your risk of progressing to myeloma within 18 months jumps to 32%, compared to just 9% if your inflammation is under control. That's why you need to demand this test every 90 days. Section 2. Imaging that outsmarts myeloma. Why old school x-rays aren't enough. If your doctor is still using plain x-rays to monitor your bones, you're missing the full picture. Advances in imaging are revolutionizing early detection for MGUS patients, especially those with Sjogren's. Whole body MRI, the silent killer detector. The International Myeloma Working Group's 2024 guidelines are clear. Whole body MRI is now the gold standard for detecting early bone changes in MGUS. Unlike PET scans, which only see metabolic activity, MRI's diffusion-weighted imaging, DWI, can spot subtle changes in bone marrow density, catching dangerous clonal expansion months before symptoms appear. A 2025 clinical trial found that Sjogren's, MBS patients with three or more focal lesions on MRI had a 41% chance of progressing to myeloma within two years. Those with clear scans? Only 4%. That's the power of early, advanced imaging. Dental x-rays, your mouth tells a story. Here's a fact most don't know. Sjogren's patients often get dental x-rays for dry mouth and dental decay. But those scans can also reveal early bone loss, a red flag for myeloma. A 2023 Lancet oncology study showed that losing more than 8% of your jawbone's trabecular density predicted lytic lesions up to 14 months before they showed up on traditional x-rays. Your dentist could be your first line of defense. Section 3. When treatments backfire, the hidden dangers of standard Sjogren's care. Treatments that help your Sjogren's symptoms might actually be making your MGUS worse. Here's how. The rituximab paradox. Rituximab is a common therapy for Sjogren's, targeting B cells to reduce autoimmune activity. But new research shows it can have a dark side. By eliminating regulatory B cells, it leaves abnormal plasma cells unchecked. A 2024 Nature Immunology study found that 62% of Sjogren's, MGUS patients treated with rituximab progressed to myeloma, compared to just 22% on alternative therapies like belimumab. Action tip, always schedule your MGUS monitoring labs four to six weeks after any rituximab infusion to avoid misleading results. The cold blood deception, cryoglobulemia. Up to 15% of Sjogren's MGUS patients develop cryoglobulemia, proteins that clump together at room temperature, masking the true level of M protein in your blood. This can make your results look falsely reassuring, hiding up to 0.8 G slash DL of M spike. The fix? Demand your serum electrophoresis be performed with pre-warmed samples to expose any hidden proteins. Section 4. Silent triggers be overlooked danger zones. Progression to myeloma isn't just about what's in your blood. Sometimes, the triggers are hiding in plain sight. Dental infections, myeloma's secret ally. Chronic parotid gland inflammation and dry mouth in Sjogren's create a breeding ground for Porphyromonas gingivalis, a bacteria that produces RANKL, a protein that stimulates bone-destroying cells and feeds myeloma growth. 
If you've had two or more dental abscesses in a year, your risk of progression quadruples. Annual oral microbiome testing is now a must for Sjogren's and Gus patients. Night sweats, not just an autoimmune flare. Night sweats are common in Sjogren's, but if you're waking up drenched and losing one to two pounds overnight, it could be a sign of cytokine storms from evolving plasma cell clones. A 2025 Mayo Clinic algorithm found this symptom combo is 89% specific for myeloma progression within six months. Don't ignore it, track your symptoms and report them immediately. Section five, your anti-progression toolkit, what every Sjogren's MGUS patient needs. Knowledge is power. Here's your step-by-step -step survival plan built on the latest science. Mandatory monitoring protocol. When to sound the alarm. N-spike increases by 0.3 G slash DL or more per year, higher threshold for Sjogren's patients. Sudden drop in IgG below 600 milligrams per deciliter, even if you previously had high levels. Unexplained drop in blood phosphate below 2.5 milligrams per deciliter, a warning sign for bone breakdown. Lifestyle interventions, your secret weapon. Anti-inflammatory nutrition. A 2025 meta-analysis found the Mediterranean diet, rich in omega-3s, olive oil, and polyphenol-packed foods like berries and dark chocolate, can lower CRP by an average of 1.2 mg per liter in MGUS patients. Omega-3s suppress the NF-kappa B pathway, a key driver of plasma cell proliferation, stress reduction, and sleep. Chronic stress raises catecholamines, which fuel clonal plasma cell growth. Mindfulness-based stress reduction, MBSR, Programs have been shown to lower serum cortisol by 28% in MGUS patients, potentially slowing progression. Prioritize restorative sleep and stress management as part of your care. Section six, the future is now emerging therapies and clinical trials. If you thought MGUS was untreatable, think again. The landscape is changing fast. Targeted immunotherapies. Anti-CD38 monoclonal antibodies like daratumumab are being tested in high-risk MGUS. Early phase trials show a 50% or greater reduction in M protein in 58% of patients within six months. For Sjogren's patients, combining this with B cell depletion therapies may address both the autoimmune and plasma cell components. This specific antibodies and CAR T. BCMX CD3 this specific antibodies are showing promise by engaging your own T cells to hunt down and destroy M protein producing clones. In a 2024 HealthTree Foundation trial, 72% of high-risk MGUS patients reached undetectable M-spike levels after 12 months. Even more exciting? CAR-T cell therapy, once reserved for advanced myeloma, is now being tested in high-risk MGUS. A 2025 phase I trial found that 83% of Sjogren's MGUS patients achieved sustained minimal residual disease, MRD, negativity at 18 months. Microbiome modulation. Emerging research links gut dysbiosis in Sjogren's to increased MGUS progression risk via IL-6, driven inflammation. Fecal microbiota transplantation, FMT. Trials have restored healthy bifidobacterium levels, correlating with a 40% reduction in free light chains. Closing, your three-step survival plan. Take action today. Let's recap the three steps that could make all the difference. One, demand pre-warmed serum tests. Don't let cryoglobulins hide your risk. Two. Reject stable labels without MRI and FLC trend reviews. Static tests can miss early progression. Three, join Sjogren's specific MGUS registries. Be part of the research changing the future for everyone with this disease. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone who might benefit. And don't forget to subscribe for more clear, science-backed health content.